god of headline-grabbing interviews. He's back on Comedy Central. It makes me wonder, why is a society? Are we so reluctant for a man, especially a black man, to objectively comment on another man's beauty? Look, I'm married to a beautiful black queen, but you don't have to be a black queen to know that Michael B. Jordan is a delicious morsel of a man, all right? <laughs> so is Idris Elba. <laughs> don't you A-yo me, okay? All right? All right. <laughs> and from what I hear from, you know, the writer's room, Boris Kojo, you know, they think he's fine too. Not my taste, he's a little too beige for me. But, <laughs> look, I see him. <laughs> <laughs> look, man, I see my homegirls tell each other how pretty they are all the time, okay? Because being attractive to someone doesn't mean you're attracted to them. So is it okay for men to give other men these type of compliments? Gary, I'm gonna start with you with your fine. Yeah. <laughs> I've done, um, let's see, I've done two movies with Michael Ealy. Oh. So Ooh. every day, it's called yeah, Pretty yeah. Eyes Mike, yeah. Pretty Eyes Ealy. That's what, I, I'm not, I'll give him a compliment, yeah. but I always say, like, if I ever got life in prison, I mean, I want him to be my celly. That's a good compliment. You know what I mean? <laughs> That's a good compliment. I'll fight, it, I'll fight it for a couple years, but, you know, <laughs> I don't want FaZe on Love being my celly now. Yeah. I'll take Ealy all day. What do you think, Flame? Me too. I want to be my damn silly. Yeah. Um, you know what the problem is, is that uh, masculinity is, what is the measure of a man? What does a man look like? Honestly, that is true. I am a dad of three children. They adore me as their father. This is my job, but they know who I am as a man. So men should be able to compliment other men because if you're secure in your manhood and you know that ain't your get down, yeah, yeah, yeah. I can say this is a good looking brother and that's not. That's real. That's real. The problem is, so many men are walking around with this toxic masculinity. And I have a prime example. Last weekend, I was in uh, Yellow Springs with Dave and, and Dave Yassine, Chappelle, that is. Dave Chappelle. And Yassine, Yassine Bey, who is now most, who was formerly known as most deaf. And his masculinity and his man who was so quiet and strong without him having to say MF and I'm this and I'm a yeah, thug yeah, and I'm yeah. smart. His masculinity, his sex appeal was quiet and enormous. So you think he's beautiful? Oh, I thought he was a beautiful man. I would have been in cell. I almost most definitely went down on him. Why did it have to be jail? <laughs> Can we stop with the jail? Sorry. Well, he said Sorry jail. Why do we got to be jail, Gary? Always say jail? Sorry about that. It's, 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 it's 2022. You yeah. know, I almost kissed my Uber driver on the way over here for evading traffic. <laughs> Listen. Just because he got making, you through traffic, listen, shit? listen, listen. <laughs> We're making strides. Raise your standards. We're making strides to detoxify masculinity. Let's do a social experiment, Gary. Don't, look at Charlemagne, Charlemagne, <laughs> and tell him he's the most beautiful dark-skinned black man you've ever seen in your life. Yeah. You're the most beautiful dark-skinned black man you ever. I've okay, ever I'm seen in the middle life. of this. Yeah. Wait a minute. Let me back up. <laughs> I'm not well, used to being in the middle. W would masculinity be a little less toxic if like men had free-flowing compliments coming at them from their peers? No. First of all, I think that was a woman who answered that. Stay out of grown men's conversations. Okay. What do you think? Yeah, if you see a nice looking dude who's got a nice outfit on, just tell him. Charlamagne knows who's being honest.